means affecting only the appearance of something rather than its substance. Do you want to hear it? Affecting the appearance of something rather than its substance. So instead of actually fixing the problem, just like to cover it up. That's what cosmetics really is. It's not something that's normal. It's not, you know, you need cosmetics to be beautiful or you need cosmetics to have great skin or, you know, you need tanning products and you need to, you know, have this moisturizer and this makeup and this foundation. No, it just means that instead of fixing your issues, whether there's dry skin, cracked skin, wrinkles, all types of skin issues, eczema, acne. Instead of fixing them, try and cover them up with cosmetics, okay? In the United Kingdom, the skincare market is forecasted to reach 24.37 billion by 2024. So, you know, all these stores, these shops that you get when you walk through your town or city center, they are entirely dedicated to cosmetics because the market for them is huge. It's a lot bigger than the market for your local farmer. In, in fact, your entire region's farmers put together, you know, it does not equate to $24.5 billion worth of sales, okay? They do not have the power to stick a celery stick in 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 one of your favorite celebrities and say can you promote this for us no that's not how it works they can't do that because they don't have the the power of advertising that these big corporations do and how do these big corporations get so much money how do you get 24.5 billion off of cosmetics well you take cheap chemicals you know that are potentially very dangerous to human health and get absorbed through the skin barrier into your bloodstream have to be dealt with by your liver and may it end up in your brain they take those chemicals and they put a huge profit margin on them you know so something that costs them you know 50 cents to make they charge you 10 dollars for it because they know you'll pay because they paid your favorite celebrity put their face on the packet and the wrapper and you know, they made it smell good and all your friends like it now and so you're gonna get it too. That's the game. Cosmetics are not needed when you're healthy. When you're healthy, you know, natural beauty doesn't lie. It's not about beauty standards and aesthetics, how thin your nose is, how big your lips are and how big your eyelashes are and stuff. That's not real beauty. Real beauty emanates from within and from the outside. So when people you know, fix what's on the inside, the substrate, the substance of that human being becomes automatically, you know, great on the outside. You you don't need, at that point, you don't need cosmetics. At that point, cosmetics are enhancements. And I know that, you know, a lot of people tell themselves lies that, yeah, yeah, that's all I'm doing is enhancing myself as their health gets poorer and poorer and their skin and their nails and their hair starts getting worse and worse. They, they still, you know, that's all they have to hold on to then is cosmetics to cover up all their flaws. So don't make that mistake, especially if you're young, especially if you're a young female, because females tend to age much quicker than men, in case you didn't know. So it's in your best interest as a female who's going to age a lot faster, who's going to conceive a child one day to keep all those toxins off your skin and eat healthy to make sure your body and your mind is exactly the way that nature intended before you apply any cosmetics to your skin. So steroids in a way are like cosmetics. Cosmetics are being used like steroids, okay? Steroids are performance enhancing drugs, okay? And cosmetics are appearance enhancing drugs. That's it, that's all there is to it. None of them will benefit your health. If anything, they'll destroy your health. That's it, that's the bottom line. There's no questions about it. If you don't know that by now, you need to go and do your own research. There's a website that you can use called costdna.com. I'll put it down in the uh, description below. And you can go on that website to check all the different ingredients of your cosmetic products, you just type in your product on there and it will show you which irritants are in there, you know, things like parabens, SLS, and volatile organic compounds. And so these uh, 
chemicals will be listed for you so you can decide at that point you know whether I'm lying or whether nearly every product that you use has some sort of irritable questionable suspicious chemical in it and not to mention all the landfill waste that comes from using all these different variety of products you know these throwaway products you don't need all these products okay the only products you really need is maybe some natural oils like um, natural soap natural shampoo and natural salt based deodorant and natural oils such as coconut oil um, jojoba oil castor oil um, almond oil is one of my favorites eat your cosmetics what do I mean? I don't mean like spray deodorant in your mouth and put some creams and spray tan in your mouth and choke and die on them. Like, you know, don't do that. Eat your cosmetics means your cosmetics are in your kitchen, okay? If you eat healthy fats, your health will become great and your skin and your appearance will become even better from as a result of that. Healthy fats, keto, intermittent fasting, and omega-3s. Avoid omega-6 foods, guys. Avoid those omega-6s in the fried foods, in the takeaways, in the, in the, in the foods that you eat out. Avoid those because those are the, the, the fastest way to get bad skin and, and not look so great. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos about skin health and many other health issues and topics related to the financial world as well. So if this is the kind of content that interests you that you can benefit from please like uh, subscribe and share i'll see you next time